Today I'm reviewing the Isoacoustic Pux. So before we go any further, let me just tell you, this isn't sponsored by Isoacoustics. They haven't paid me to say this because I actually had to buy these myself, which is a bit annoying to be fair, but it proves to you that I actually love the product and that's why I've got them on my speakers. It's nothing to do with the fact that I've been given them for free because unfortunately I haven't. So um, yeah, annoying. But let me tell you why I have them on every single pair of speakers that I have. So ISO Acoustic started by making these uh, speaker isolation kind of frames as they are. And uh, these work really great. The only problem is with them, that if you have a stand that's a little bit smaller or speakers that don't necessarily fit them perfectly, then you're in a bit of trouble because there's, uh, you know, they don't move. And so I've had speakers where they hang off and they're not really going to do the job they're supposed to do. I mean, ideally what they do is you have the name at the front for a reason, not just to advertise for them, but it's just so you know where the front definitely is. And the idea behind all ISO acoustic stuff is that they're moving backwards and forwards as the speaker fires. So as the cone is firing, these are moving with it. Now you need certain ones for the weight of your speaker, so you always have to look on their website for that because you know the weight is obviously important because it needs to be heavy enough so that it's moving this properly, but not so heavy that it can't move it at all. So they have developed these, which is what I'm reviewing today, and these are the pucks. Now, um, you may have seen these, they do them different ones, silver ones as well for more sort of hi-fi. These are the studio type versions. At the front, they've got their name the same. These are little sort of like suctions. I've done the Gaias before, which are the ones that screw into the bottom of like big heavy speakers. They were amazing to stop uh, bass translation into the room. I had those, you yeah, have to watch that video. I had those in this room and I, I kind of lost bass in the speakers, so that was a bit strange because the room wasn't getting as involved because the guys were actually holding them. So this is the same idea, but for mainly near field monitors so that you can then put them on three of them, one at the two at the back, one at the front. And what they're going to do is they're going to, if the weight's correct, they're going to get a bit of suction onto the stand or onto the, you know, your desk. And then they're going to move forwards with, with that. And I must say, they make a huge difference to your speakers. And I must say, they make a huge difference to the sound of the speakers. Now, I've had some grief before from some people saying it makes no difference whatsoever, but when you're isolating the stand from the speaker, it's like holding the speaker up. So you do get a lot less translation from the speaker stands, and I found that they work really great. So for me personally, I always want a set of these under everything that I have speaker-wise because it makes enough of a difference with the clarity of the sound that I like them. You know, they're not expensive. They're probably about £60, $60 for a pack of two. So you're going to need three packs for two sets of speakers. For about $150, it's a no-brainer really. You will notice the difference. Have one off and one on and uh, you'll see what I mean. There's a video online where you can actually still hear the difference from that. So definitely worth checking out. I'm a big fan of ISO Acoustic products. I think they're doing a great job. These pucks are brilliant. Better than any squash balls or foam. Definitely better than foam under your speakers. So uh, these are worth a shout. Check them out. ISO Acoustics, I'll leave a link below. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Go to streaky.com as well if you haven't signed up for my newsletter. It's the Audio Anorax newsletter. I give discounts and in fact, I should give some of these away this month. So go to streaky.com. See you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.